In this particular case, I have Audacity already opened. And as you can see here, I've already recorded a little snippet. Granted, it's only about three seconds long, but I did that by clicking the um, red record button. So now you can see that I have a recording. So at this point, we want to go to the file menu and choose to export. We are going to export it as an MP3 file. So you have to change that in the area where it says save as type. So in the drop down menu, choose MP3 file. And then of course you can save it however you want. and then make sure you keep in mind where you're saving it. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. And then this screen pops up. And you can give any of these entries values. So if you want to put your name here, you can, and any further information. I'll click OK. And as I will show you, that file has now been saved on my desktop. So I'm going to close out of Audacity. Now I want to open up my Google platform. So in this case it would be your email. And then across the top you're going to have menu options. You want to go to something called Drive. This is your Google Documents area. And what we're going to do is we're going to upload that audio file to your Google Docs area so that you can then turn around and share it with your instructor. So we want to go to this red button that when you hover over it, it says Upload. And when we click on it, we're going to choose to upload a file. The file we are uploading is the document, or sorry, the audio file that you just saved. So mine is in the desktop area and I named it test file for audacity. I'll click open and as you can see it is currently uploading the file and I have now seen it appear up at the top. So once I see it there I can close out of this dialog box and I can click on the actual link for the mp3. Now it's not able to use Google to open it. We'd actually need something else. So that's why it says no preview, but down near the bottom we have an option to share. And so when I click on share, we are going to go and change the access. Right now it's set to private, meaning only the people that we have listed below, and there's no one listed, then no one can access. So I'm going to click on change. I'm going to change it to anyone with the link. And when I click on that, down here at the bottom it's important that we decide what those people can do. Do you want them to be able to view it, comment, or edit? And we want to make sure it's just view access only. So I choose anyone with a link, hit save, and now I have a link that I can share with anyone that I want. So I want to right click on this link and choose copy and now I can go and paste that link into an assignment that your instructor has provided.